So I'm out of practice for these videos. Um, I haven't posted a video in uh, probably a year. Uh, last video I posted was on Mount Koya and the sound on it, something was wrong with it. It was just really bad. You couldn't hear anything. So I said forget about it and just remove that one. Um, I don't know what went, what went wrong. koya sound was awesome. But uh, shortly after that I left Japan. Um, I've been gone for about 10 months and weird. I still think about being gone from Japan. I, I returned home to Colorado uh, since I, Japan was kind of where I lived. Well, I've lived most of my adult life in Japan. Uh, so that still feels like I've left someplace rather than come home to someplace. Um, I still have the feeling of coming home. Anyways, I'm back in Colorado. Um, leaving Japan was a good decision. It was the right decision. I, it was more just about the feeling. It was time to go. I, I was doing okay with the wine job. It was actually really starting to make that work pretty well. Um, my boss was really disappointed when I told him I was leaving. He, uh, you know, he asked me if it was not getting paid enough or anything like that, and not enough adventure in what I was doing. He offered to let me open a, a place in Tokyo and do a different branch of the company. Probably could, could have done well at that, but I mean, yeah, my shoulder was tired and I didn't feel like I was making enough, but uh, tired from carrying that wine bag around. My shoulder's basically better now. Um, finally but uh, you know the bigger reasons were just it was time to go um, some relationship stuff my ex-girlfriend Japan uh, is getting married this year and she's awesome uh, but she's getting married this year I'm not so that's kind of unfortunate she's still one of the awesomest people I've ever met um, and wasn't completely that either but uh, that definitely was a factor in coming home um, yeah. and after that, I you know, came home, a little bit of culture shock in being here. A culture shock, you don't realize it until you're out of it. You kind of go, yeah, I'm a, maybe a little culture shock, things seem a little weird. And then it's when you look back on it a couple months afterwards and you go, that was weird. I was kind of in shock over that. Um, and yeah, of course, it's all the standard things that you look at people in the U.S. and go, gosh, the portions are big. People eat a lot of meat. People eat a lot of junk. I'm surprised at how much food dies and everything. Yeah, roads, traffic, people, behaviors. Um, and all of it's kind of, sometimes it just feels like a little bit of sensory overload. And that's just because you go, you think about it, you go, that seems a little bit weird, but it's weird. That's weird because I used to think that was normal and it's not that weird. It shouldn't be that weird. And that meta cycle is just kind of where it gets your thought process going on occasion or it gets mine. Um, so that's been interesting. Um, work for a great company now. Uh, not going to mention it, just kind of policy thing for videos, but uh, I do like to say that I work for a great company with a lot of great people, um, slowly, slowly working my way up. Um, yeah, that might lead to something good, kind of figuring that out. Um, but most important things, I'm back in Colorado, and right now I have a schedule that lets me have some time off, so I'm learning to snowboard. Um, I am terrible, and I love snowboarding. Uh, absolutely terrible. You will... I, just, I did make... My dad made a video of me snowboarding, and I put it up through YouTube for family members. It's not public, because you don't need to see that. It's not that entertaining. Um, but that kind of got me thinking I should get back on here. And then I was talking to this guy, Steve, recently. A um, friend of a friend, and he just got the Japan travel bug. He uh, he was in Thailand for a bit, a couple weeks, learning Thai, hanging out. And then he went through Japan. He was there for 10 days and just loved it. So... I uh, got introduced and was talking to him about learning the language and you know, cultural stuff and just how to get around in Japan. And, because he's, he's got a job that he can do anywhere. He just has a programming job. He does it on the computer, does it remotely. So he's looking at moving back to Japan. And that got me thinking about Japan and my videos. And uh, Part of me wants to come back, um, come back, go back, whichever. Um, a lot of things I miss about Japan. And you know, my Facebook feed is all my Japanese friends and what they're doing. It's half in Japanese. And finally, I just miss speaking the language. Uh, it tickles your brain and yeah, it just feels nice. I still have dreams in Japanese on occasion. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good to be back. Part of me wants to go back to Japan, but not yet. Um, I'll definitely go back at some point. I don't know if that's going to be an extended visit or go move back there for a little bit. Yeah, still figuring that out. Um, no definite plans at the moment, except that I'm back in Colorado. Um, great situation at the moment. I, my parents are migratory, so I, 
they make for kind of weird roommates for part of the year and then the rest of the time I have a house and three cats and that's pretty cool um, yeah but it's a chilly winter day and my fingers are getting cold so I'm gonna shut this video off and wander home and uh, I don't know I promise I'll make a couple other videos I just don't think I'd have quite as much to say as I did when I was in Japan so do something to keep it interesting